Okay, so here's a low down. Obviously, you can see it's not herpes. I had a throat infection, didn't realise it was an infection. This happened. Could also be allergic to dogs, which has completely crushed my whole life. Um, my hands are in bits, my womb is still not functioning properly. I have blood tests coming up, I've got a scan coming up, who knows, the whole shebang. I have some kind of acid cream thing to put on this malarkey. But I mean, regardless, is I look like shit and I feel like shit. Um, so yeah, regardless though, I did actually try to film a couple of videos because I've been house sitting for just over a week. I thought I was being really smart, bringing my camera with me, um, brought my laptop, then realized that I actually edit on my mum's laptop and I have no kind of editing software on my own laptop and can't seem to download it. Um, so here I am filming this real quick before I go and nick my mum's laptop while I'm here. Luckily for you guys, um, I did actually film a video before I left to like house it and shit so let's just skip onto that where I don't look so absolutely disgusting. Don't ask me why I'm like playing with some nail scissors, probably shouldn't do that. Hey, um, to be honest I don't really know what this video is going to be about, I mean I like filming so here I am. Um, and I just feel like the more that you talk about something, I have put that brush in the wrong thing. I feel like the more you talk about something, no matter what it is, the more you sort of believe it, the more you practice it. And obviously it makes other people aware and sort of gets everyone involved in it. Um, you can probably guess by whatever I've chosen the title to be. <laughs> um, what I'm kind of going to be talking about, also sorry, my hair is wet as per usual. Um, so basically I watched, shit, what's she actually called? But she did three videos in a sort of series that were about sort of finding your passion and sort of earning money from it. Um, yeah, raw alignment. I thought I was literally going to say like raw vegan alignment, but like so close. Um. So she did three videos on how to find a true passion, how to quit a 9 to 5 job and how to become like financially free. And I was watching those videos today as well as sort of, I'm trying to sort of practice being more, I don't want to say spiritual because a lot of people get like a preconceived idea about it and think that you're some sort of like weird hippie like monk or something like that. But like I am just uh, sort of trying to connect with myself more and just be able to know what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling rather than just subconsciously feeling it and then being upset or pissed off and not knowing why and being able to sort of like meditate a bit more and just sort of try and shut my mind off for like a sec <laughs> um, so I've been really into all those style of videos and that came up as suggested so I watched all three and it got me thinking like I've always felt like no matter what sort of job I've done or whether it was school or anything I've always felt like being in a sort of well like nine to five type of five days a week like a job environment isn't like my thing like I feel like no matter what it is it makes me feel really uncomfortable it makes me feel really trapped I feel pressured I feel like it's something that doesn't make me happy and isn't something that I want to do it isn't like a choice or anything but obviously you can't say that because then you instantly become selfish and lazy and it's just not something that's kind of acceptable to talk about whereas after watching these videos and stuff like that and discovering that you know there is other ways to make money and you can make mushy <laughs> mushy you can make money off things that you sort of passionate about like that would literally be my dream so what I'm really trying to do is sort of find any sort of platform and any sort of ideas whereby I can sort of make money in the way that still makes me happy in a way that I'm still doing something that I feel fulfills me and 
just makes me feel like good <laughs> like it's really hard to explain but I feel like a lot of people are sort of so used to doing the whole like just get up go to work come home go to bed get up go to work come home go to bed and it's like a lot of for a lot of people that is completely fine like they're 100% okay with it it doesn't bother them in any way shape or form and it doesn't really affect their sort of mental state whereas when I was thinking about it and thinking about sort of what my passions are rather than just sort of my hobbies and I'd say like I'm sort of very passionate about putting my mental health before other things that people might seem mandatory and things that I have to do like school for instance and I put my mental health first and to be honest I would I have not looked back since like although I do regret not having sort of A-levels and I sometimes feel a little bit sad that I'm not in the same situation as my friends where they're going to uni and stuff like that like I put my mental health first and it has completely changed my life because of it so why not and I suppose I just wanted to talk about it just to sort of like get the idea out there like obviously like she's mentioned it in her videos but it wasn't that she sort of mentioned that she didn't want to do a 9 to 5 job like she sort of mentioned just find a job that you like and that makes you happy and maybe trying multiple different jobs to try and find one that you love but sort of my ideal life has never involved working like 37 hours a week like that's never been my ideal thing obviously if I was say working at home and it was someone else, something I was passionate about I wouldn't even class that as a job I wouldn't class it as work I would class it as something that I did that brought in an income but that was still something I loved and chose to do because I love it do you get what I mean like it sort of seems like it's less of a job and more of a lifestyle I don't know I don't even I don't know what I'm speaking about anymore I've had coffee today and I'm not really supposed to have caffeine so but then again I do feel kind of like chill I think because I'm not I'm not that tired to be able to go to sleep but I've got to that stage of the day where I am like tired like normally I probably will have had a nap by now but I feel good Um. I'm just trying to think if there is anything else I would like to sort of speak about or touch on. Um, no, I think that's it on sort of my behalf. Um, but I would 100% recommend watching those three videos by Raw Alignment. And just questioning things more and not just accepting everything. If it's not making you happy, like, why are you doing it? Like, why? Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you didn't, I'm pretty sure you probably would have stopped watching by now anyway, so. Um, yeah, and I will see you next time. Bye!